How's it going everyone? It's Artifact today. You can see a MIDI keyboard in my shiny sunglasses and that means you know we're going to make some drum and bass. Let's get straight into the loop. <laughs> So, we're going to talk about this nasty little bass that I've made today. And I've got two important topics to talk about. The main one is the uh, Unison Advanced Settings in Vital, which I just learned about. And I'm super, super excited about. So, I hope you're excited with me. And the second part is just a little comb filtering tip as well to get a bit of uh, sort of a chord into, into your bass. So, let's have a quick listen to the actual bass on its solo, hand solo. So it's called the Megatron. Uh, this is a brand new one and the patch will be uploaded on my Patreon today. So definitely check that out. You can check out my all my older presets as well in my Vital Preset 2021 pack on my website. And let's get straight into this patch then. We have got a few effects on. I'm going to leave them on for the time being. So we're actually just going to use oscillator one as the actual uh, kind of main oscillator. And it's just a basic shapes kind of square sine wave thing. And into it, we're going to be frequency modulating uh, oscillator two, uh, which is also being frequency modulated by oscillator three. And the cool things I want to talk about today is not only are we using a few different shapes like pulse width and a saw wave with this kind of low pass harmonics here. Uh, we're also going to be using the advanced tab, which, uh, yeah, like I just kind of learned about. And you can actually go in a lot more detail to like shape the uh, actual sound design of each like oscillator by by playing with these settings on here. So the oscillator one, we have the unison detune turn up to 16. And if you go onto the advanced here, uh, you can actually change these settings and get different kind of tones from like how the unison is sort of happening. So I've gone ahead and I've modulated the amount of stereo unison here on this LFO2 and everything is, is being run through this modulation on this patch. We're also going to be modulating the distortion spread. So I believe that that is corresponding to uh, the amount of frequency modulation here and how that is being affected by the detuning. Ah, oh, I just bit my tongue again. And you can actually go ahead and change a bunch of different things here. Like you can change the unison modes into like a chord. Right. All this harmonics, which sounds pretty nasty as well. But I'm gonna leave this one on unison and we're gonna uh, mess around with the FM oscillator a bit more on here and then how that's going into oscillator one. Cause the oscillator one, I wanna keep it as kind of like a nice kind of, bassy kind of sine wave. So this second one here, this pulse width, which is up one octave, uh, with this kind of low pass mode on. I've left it on just one unison because that's just how it kind of sounded quite good. And this is like bringing in the like next sort of harmonic up, uh, that kind of uh, frequencies around there. So we get a bit of that warm kind of growly feeling. We don't really have much high end yet. So the third one, is going to be a saw wave, which obviously has a lot of high harmonics, and that's going to go into oscillator two, which is going into oscillator one. And there's a bit of ring modulation with some white noise just to get a little bit more high end. And on this one, uh, we're going to really mess with the advanced settings here to get like uh, yeah, some crazy kind of sounds. So we've turned up the unison all the way to 16. You can see how much it does this one. Because we're introducing like a dirty, dirty saw wave. Dirty, you dirty saw wave into oscillator two. We're just going into oscillator one. Uh, but the advanced tab here, you know, it's defaulted on unison. So if we put it back to there. And then we can try out these other modes. And some of these, some of these sound like really, really cool. Some of them are too aggressive, you know. But the one I settled on was the, I believe it was the octave. So it's just like, yeah, I think it's just an octave 
an octave up or some yeah one octave up uh so it's kind of unisoning it with some some sort of higher harmonics one octave up and again we're just modulating a couple of these extra parameters like this spectral spread which i believe corresponds to uh this low pass uh mode here and sort of how that it algorithm is like being detuned you can kind of play with that so again it's all like trial and error but these are some extra settings that you can play with uh to really get like more in detail in depth with like how the, the unison is sounding and then you know you can modulate all these all these as well like i've done here i've modulated quite a lot of them uh, just on this one basic uh, simple lfo pattern i'm pretty happy with these kind of settings and it's sounding quite nice and nasty and yeah for the effects we they make quite a big difference because the chorus is adding this kind of extra width and yeah i've just tweaked the settings put it on freeze mode again so it doesn't actually move it's just like creating a bit of a natural reverb and that's going through the lfo on the mix the distortion here on the linear fold is really kind of aggressive and that's really like getting quite a lot of juice out of the sound and then this phaser positive filter here kind of really uh, takes out a lot of kind of notches in the low end and it just kind of makes it sound a little bit more defined where we had like quite a lot of information all at once here we're sort of just shaping the low end a little bit so yeah it's a little bit more kind of has a bit more of a defined point in the low end and it's not just taking up like all of the frequencies down there and again that's just sort of mixing it in on the uh, lfo so we we get a bit of like uh, a bit of the non-filtered signal and a lot of the filtered signal uh, in kind of an LFO pattern. A compressor on the end and just playing with the mix of it again, just to like blend in and out of that compress some of that compressed version. And yeah, the final thing to note is this cool thing you can do with a comb filter here. So if I turn up the effect so you can see what's really happening. That kind of uh, ringing comb noise that you get, it's actually pitched like uh, in a certain way. And all you have to do is, yeah, you just go onto this bottom bar here and you can right click and select enter value. And then you can type in the amount of semitones that you want to like pitch at. So I'm doing like a seventh up, which is like a, a perfect fifth or something like that. A sev uh, seven semitones up is like, like a sort of power chord and that is yeah so it's gonna make those resonant peaks be boosting up on those exact frequencies that that sort of chord would be at and then you know you can hear you can hear it's like seven semitones up and we're just gonna blend that mix down and then i've just tracked the mix to the lfo as well so it kind of comes in and out that kind of chord So yeah, a bit of extra kind of uh, interesting harmonics and pitching going on there. So we've got quite a nasty Megatron sounding bass here, but uh, definitely check out using that trick with the comb filter and typing in you know, different values so you can try out different sort of chord settings and then just boost the resonance and then you can mix it in and out of your sound. And check out the advanced tab uh, it's really, really awesome and you can play with the different types of unison when you're like creating your sounds. And even if it's something a little bit more simple, like just a saw and a sign or something like that, uh, you can start with that and then just go onto the advanced straight away and then try and mess around with a few of these different settings here to like get even more in detail with the exact uh, shaping of your sound. So I think it's really, really cool. I'm gonna probably be using this a lot more now going forward. Uh, so my next patch, I'll probably be doing something else with this and see if I can create something even uh, cooler than this sound. But it's very dirty anyway. Uh, I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. European time, so that's 6 p.m. UK time. We will be doing a stream for two hours, uh, making a DNB advanced loop using just serum and nothing else. I hope you will join me for that and have a wonderful day.